Well, hello everybody. We're back to working on the uh, lay stand. I'm laying out the, the top frame that the legs will weld onto on the corners from the uh, lathe support. And even though I haven't quite finished welding up my weld table, it's still coming in quite handy for doing light for laying out material patterns whatever anywho I'll be back after I tack these up and maybe I'll even let you watch me weld huh alrighty well I'm gonna tack it And flip it over and tack it again. And then probably let it sit over that. <laughs> and just take that one. Yeah, I'm just blasting them in. I'm not even, not even trying to add filler material, filler material just yet. Tack on every inside corner, which a little tack on the outside panel. Okay, that's got it tacked. Let's see if it'll stay together long enough for me to flip it over. I gotta make a couple more of those. My other little clamps here. They were great, but they were a pain in the butt to work. <laughs> So, hopefully, I can do away with my little triangles. And stick my 
my little rod studs up there. Now you know why I don't make videos while I'm actually doing work, usually. I get too busy working and forget to talk. Don't even know if you can hear me. They look like they held together. Let me check my dimensions right quick. Maybe a three quarter, twelve and an eight. Twelve and an eight. All right. And just for grids, thirty-three. Thirty-three. We're still square. Heavy attack. Uh, let me see. I'm running right at 80 amps using a uh, 1 16th electron tungsten. Side corners now. Pause you for the moment. See what we got. Alrighty. Uh, after reviewing the last video, 
I figured I'd let you watch me do one weld here. But how bright that flash was, I'm going to go ahead and stick another welding lens in front of the camera. See how that works. Yes, I know, I'm going backwards. By going backwards, I meant that I was uh, dipping the rod behind on the back side of the puddle. Don't ask me why, it's just more comfortable for me on that angle. Let's see what we got on film now. Okay, now you get to see my really sloppy rotten welds. I am by no means a professional welder. I've only been playing with the TIG for, well, less than a year. And while I'm... No! That my welds ain't professional or even pretty, they hold which is the important thing. So, now I'm going to let this cool down. It's still warm. Oh! And the uh, legs and lower cross supports will be next. Hi again. Well, I've got my legs and two of the cross ports cut. Uh, actually, oh, let's see. As you can see, that's a little bit too short. I ran out of tubing. So I'm going to find something else to use for the uh, long cross pieces. I uh, got to clean up my welds and grind the ends and square everything up and weld it. And I'll probably show you the grinds and the setup before I weld the legs in place.